No one knows what you are keeping, what you cannot disclose to anyone. It is only the prayer from Jesus that can reach that place. Without Jesus, you continue thinking about what you are going through, what you have done, what you do not want people to know. At the end of the day, you get nothing, but your enemy will capitalize on that one. Because you cannot keep the Holy Spirit outside your body. If your inside is peaceful, with that clear conscience, when you are standing and praying, you know that the next is to receive the answer from my Father in heaven. If you are praying because it is time to pray, and you are not sure whether your prayer will be answered or not, it as good as not to go to church. When you are praying, you must know that God is listening to me. Prayer is like a child calling the father. Your father must know that you are calling him. You are talking to him. You are reporting your case. If your heart is not at peace, people will continue, you know, seeing you going to church every Sunday. Prayer is not your voice. It is a way we communicate with our father. Even without voicing out, your heart must know how to talk to your God. It is not what you are going to say because of your feelings. No. But what the Holy Spirit is saying. Because anything coming from your heart, that is the real you. Stop pretending when you are praying. You need to be, you know, assured that what I am doing here, I am not just wasting time. If your inner being is not strengthened with his power and his spirit, you are alone. When you become, you know, a child of God, the first place to be clean is your heart, to support what you'll be doing outside. That cleanness is not coming from outside, it is coming from where? The inside. Where even the appetite for sin will be removed completely. Even if you see cigarette, you see beer, you see women, you see what? You will not be moved by those things because your inner being is already renewed and strengthened by his power through his spirit.